And it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio. We're in Atlanta, Georgia today for the Georgia State Army game, and we have a chance to visit with one of the members of the Georgia National Guard, and that is Sergeant Michael Vargas. Sergeant, great to see you. What's it like uh, to be out uh, at the football game today? I think it's a great honor and a privilege to represent the National Guard here in the football and uh, be able to do uh, community outreach as a soldier. Absolutely, and uh, we work with the New York National Guard back home. Uh, National Guard does so much for our country, both at home, taking care of communities and overseas. Tell us about some of the roles and mission of the National Guard down here in Georgia. Uh, one of the things we do is, is we do help out with the border security. We send a lot out over there as well. Uh, one of the other things that we do is, is we help out when there's national disasters such as storms. And uh, a few years ago we had the um, snow apocalypse is what we called it. And all the National Guard, so a lot of them were activated so that we can help assist the local Georgians. Very good. How big is the National Guard in Georgia and what would be some of the roles and opportunity that uh, someone could get involved with by uh, considering joining the National Guard here? Uh, one of the things we have is the 48th Infantry Brigade. Um, they're integrating a lot with the 3rd ID active duty out of Fort Stewart. And so um, what that is, is we have that great partnership and allows you to uh, uh, be one of the very well-known National Guard infantry soldiers. Very good. And, and if you would, tell us a little bit about your service in the National Guard, some of the activities and some of the places that you've been. So I started back in 2002, uh, almost 17 years ago. Uh, I was in the California National Guard. Um, due to family reasons, we went ahead and moved out here to Georgia, and I was able to transfer uh, my National Guard service to here to Georgia. Um, since then, I've guarded the Golden Gate Bridge in California. I uh, was uh, deployed to Iraq for over 15 months. Uh, I also helped assisted with Hurricane Matthews, um, and currently right now I'm assigned to the Georgia National Guard to help recruit and uh, bring uh, civilians into the National Guard and help the local community of Georgia. Very good. I guess one of the things we've worked with the New York National Guard is the welcome home ceremonies and we work on transition for uh, military all the time in the American Legion. What is it like for you 15 months overseas to come back? Uh, uh, how, how did you handle the transition uh, back to uh, from uh, from a tough, a tough area to uh, being back home? Um, it definitely helped me appreciate my country. Um, some of the simple things of you know enjoying the green grass and the and the and the breeze of being able to roll down my window in my car because uh, over there we you know got to help protect ourselves and have our windows up and it allowed me to understand the, the the joys that this country has to offer and the freedom and the things that we can do as citizens and and the freedom that is provided to us and it allows me to appreciate that sacrifice that I'm choosing to do to be in the National Guard and help others live their lives. Wow, I hadn't even thought about that. You have to keep your windows uh, rolled up all the time when you're overseas uh, as a precaution. Uh, tell us a little bit about, and maybe we'll finish up, but just tell us what's the best thing for you about serving our country in, in the U.S. Army in the National Guard? Um, I, I, it's a very humbling experience is that how to allow this country to grow and progress and help people be safe and allowing me to be part of that tiny, tiny piece of the big overall picture for this country. Well, sorry, Jim, my dad was in the New York National Guard prior to the start of World War II in 1939 and 40 in the Bronx, New York. He would be so proud of you and your colleagues here in the Georgia National Guard out serving the country. And, uh, and uh, so our best wishes from everybody at the American Legion. Good to see you today. Thank you very much for your time. Our pledge is Ken Kreitzer for Sons American Legion Radio in Atlanta, Georgia.